With the center line of the interior walls located, I would like to revisit the house and how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to trim these center lines so that way they start to look like rooms as house. So go back to my house. I'm going to trim and I'll just select all the interior lines. Just enter. I need to trim this line, that line, trim that out, trim this back, trim this back. All right, and then I have a line in here that shouldn't be there, so I'll use the erase command, select this line, and press enter. And now I have the wall that goes between the garage and the main house. So I will trim that as well. I'll trim that back to the inside of the exterior wall. All right, let's visit how an interior wall is constructed. I have a section cut away showing that an interior wall is generally framed with two by four studs. And then on each side, it will be sheathed with half inch sheetrock. So a two by four is actually three and a half inches wide. So the total width of an interior wall will be four and a half inches. So I have a center line of the wall. I will want to offset it two and a quarter inches. Let's use the offset command. Specify 2.25 inches. Press enter. I'll select this line and offset it to that side. Select the center line again and offset it to this side. And now I show the thickness of interior walls. Go ahead and delete this. And do the offset command again. Notice that the offset distance is still set to two and a quarter inches. I'll just press enter and accept that. And we'll create the thickness of all the other walls. Now we have the garage wall. The garage wall is often a special wall that requires some fire protection. But for now, we'll just use our standard interior wall for this. Check local co codes to make sure of what the requirements are for those. All right, with the interior walls outlined, now I'm ready to go through and do some trimming and fill it to make the corners come around. What I'm going to do is change the layers of the interior wall lines. To change a line layer, I'll select the object by clicking on it. This is gripping it. And then I'll pull down the layer manager. And that is a wall interior. So I'll click on that. And you notice that the line turns blue. I'll press Enter escape. So what I would like to do is make all the interior wall lines blue by putting them on that particular property. Okay. Let's escape. And I have the garage wall as well to do. That's an interior wall. Press escape. Now I'm ready to fix all the corners. I can use trim. Notice that I'm just selecting lines. I can trim those. And I can trim these. And I can trim I 
need to fill it though, so I can use the fill it command. Press enter. Continuing on, I will finish trimming all my wall lines. So effectively, I'm just going to select everything there. Go in, trim out all my lines. Oops. All right, and then I need a fill it command. All right, I have pretty much everything. The walls right now are extending into the interior walls or to the exterior walls. I'm going to trim all of those as well. Press enter. Now watch how I do a fencing here. I will trim all of those back. See how I did that? Let me do this up here. I click over here. It's a nice way of using the back selection box. Same here. I can trim everything back. All right. Press enter to end that command. Finish up by trimming out the garage wall and now I have interior rooms.